So I've just parked up at the Lipper Cave Network. Gonna get a one hour tour for 10 euros. There's the little train I'm on the next tour going. Should leave in about 10 minutes. Cave Network is two and a half kilometers, one and a half miles. And it varies in altitude inside by up to a thousand feet. I'm looking forward to having a look. Here we go, a little 10 minute train ride to the bottom of the hill. You can already feel how cold it is. Cold is rushing out. Apparently it's eight degrees Celsius in here today, and it's always between eight and 12. So we've just come in there. That's the man-made entrance. But the cave was found because it does have a natural entrance which is up there. Someone apparently fell. And that's how they found the cave about 150 years ago. Right, better keep up with the tour guide. This is a bar down here open during the summer months when it's peak for tourism. You come down here and socialize. Up there was another natural opening, but it was closed by the 1979 Montenegrin earthquake. There's a bat up there. Obviously lives in the cave here. This is an opening in the cave system. It's quite large. It doubles up as a concert hall, apparently. And then around here is a natural mini waterfall. During the rainy season, you get water coming down from up above. So in the rainy season, this is uh, a lake, but now it resembles more of a pond because it hasn't rained for a long time. Not any substantial rain anyway. But in the rainy season, all of this is full of, full of water. And it even comes around here. And fills this section up as well. A bit dark. This is as far as we're gonna go. The pathway that we're following ends here. And if you wanted to go on, that's part of another tour that they do called the Extreme Tour, where you're actually going into there. just heading back down again now following the same route as we used to get as far along as we are apparently the cave opened in 2015 to tourists before that it had been known about it was discovered 150 years ago as I might have said earlier but it was used previously by local villagers to keep wine and meat cool in the summer because as I say it's always around about eight nine ten degrees in here so it's a good temperature certainly better than the 29 30 degrees outside and hotter gotta watch your head through this part it's uh, pretty low it's about five foot there we go we're going to come back out into the oh, a bit of wind there coming down this natural 
opening, which is up there. That's where the waterfall comes down. And this is the concert hall again. You can see the light just at the top there. That is the light of day. Just one final steep hill to uh, reach it. So I've left the Lipper Cave behind, parked on the side of a road. I'm back in Centene now, which is only about seven or eight minutes along the road. This is where I was yesterday. It's where I finished the video yesterday. But there was a couple of things I didn't get to see while I was here. I saw the town itself, but there's an amphitheater and a memorial on top of a hill that I just wanted to have a quick look at. So that's what I'm gonna do now, starting with an old Roman amphitheater. Well, I found the amphitheatre, but it turns out it's not a Roman amphitheatre. It was actually built in 1951, would you believe? And uh, it was designed to look like a Roman amphitheatre. And I've got to say, it, it definitely fooled me. It's now used for various shows and events here in Centene. Right, I am going to take a 15 minute stroll up to a memorial and viewpoint on a hill next to where I am. Made it up to the top. Got to say I've not seen another person since I left the amphitheatre. So at the top is a memorial to Danilo Petrovic, a local bishop. And then as I come around here, you can see the terrific views across Centene, right here in Montenegro. I was exploring down there yesterday, so if you're interested, take a look at my previous video. It is definitely worth a visit. I'm very glad I came back and just finished off the last two things that I didn't get chance to do yesterday, the amphitheatre and the memorial at the top of the hill. I'm heading back down the hill now, back to the car, and I'm going to drive on to Podgorica, where I'm going to spend a couple of hours, but on the way to Podgorica, I've got one stop left, and uh, it's going to be a good one, I think. just parked up and when I say I got something good to put on video this is what I mean the horseshoe bend go perhaps Montenegro summed up in a single image I am about to get back in the car now and head to my second from last destination of the day and that's the capital Podgorica mm -hmm. 